Jarek, welcome to Portland. First question is coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Hey, Derek, just off the bat, um, kind of what position do you feel you're best suited for? I understand you can play a lot of different ones, but what are you, what are you most comfortable with? Uh, honestly, it really don't matter for me. I'm, I'm good with whatever the coach put me on the floor to him. If it's the three, the four, the two, whatever it is, I'm, I'm going to go out there and do what I got to do. Next question is coming from Nick Krupke with KPTV. Hey, Derek, welcome, man. What was the intrigue to coming to Portland? Say that one more time. What was the, the, the main avenue, the main reason you wanted to come here? Uh, I mean, when I when I got off the call with the coaches and everything, you know, I, I had went to go down. I went downstairs from this hotel I was at. I had a little suite, and I went to talk to my family. And, you know, I, I just talked to them about all the – like all the options that I had and, and Portland was the best, best suit for me as a player. In what ways? They at the three position, they needed me to come in here and, and, and do exactly what I do, which is get, get out, run the floor, hit shots if, if they open and play great defense. Next question is coming from AJ McCord with Corn Six News. Portland, thanks so much for hopping on here with us. Um, you talked about your fit within Portland and why you think that's best. What about the personnel that you'll be joining in? Lillard, McCollum, Carmelo. Um, what do you like about your fit within this roster as well as on the court? I love it. I mean, everybody everybody in here knows their role. I mean, everybody's in here working hard and trying to get their role and perfect it. The next question is coming from Aaron Ventress with the Oregonian. Do you feel that uh, coming to Portland is putting you in a position to grasp a larger role than you've had in the past? Your, your minutes have steadily gone up per game, but it seems like now you're in a position where you really can latch on to maybe a full-time starting job and have an expanded role offensively. Uh, yeah, it's a possibility. I mean, you never know. Nothing guarantees. So, I mean, I still got to go out there and and give it 110% every day I, I step on the floor. So that's what I'm going to do every time I'm out there. Got another question coming from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Eric, just, you know, trying to get to know you better. Um, what's the biggest obstacle you think you faced in your life? Uh. Honestly, I have no clue. I have a few, but I mean, I, I guess I, I have to say, you know, going undrafted and, and not actually having a team, you know, have interest in me or, or, or want me being an undrafted rookie, uh, you know, going into Phoenix and having to work to, to earn that spot and actually outplayed someone to get that spot. So that was, that was a big obstacle for me to overcome. Mm -hmm. Your next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Derek, have you had much uh, communication with Dame or CJ yet? And then what are you looking forward to about playing with those two guys? Uh, yeah, I had, I, had got a, I had got a text from Dame the day I had, I had told the, the Portland Trailblazers that I was coming out here to play here. And, you know, it's just – He's a great guy, and I always, always playing against him. You know, you just, you you get to see how how good he is going against him. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna be able to see how good he is on the same team as him, and being able to go out there and help him. And it's you no, know, it's just it's just great for me to be here with, with such great guys, and you know, they 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 embrace me with open arms so far since I've been here. So you know, I, I can't wait to get out on the floor with him. Next question is coming from Brooke Wolzendam with Blazers Broadcasting. Hi there. Welcome again. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, much is made of your, your jumping ability. And uh, former Blazer Pat Connaughton, we talked about his vertical a lot. And he said he decided he wanted to be good at that at a young age and like put weight on his legs so it would help him get better. I'm curious, is that something that you decided you wanted to be good at or is it just straight up natural ability? <laughs> It's, it's just, for me, it's natural ability. I, I didn't work on my legs at the end of my life until I, I got to the NBA room. So I just was God gifted with this. 
Your gift. Got another question coming from Aaron Fentress with the Oregonian. Hey, when when they signed you, I went and watched you know some of your highlight videos to get to know you better as a player. And I noticed that when you dunk, you tend to let out a little emphatic yell of some kind, um, like ah, so this and let people know. Where does that come from, and why do you do that? I don't know. It's just it's how I am. You know, I just when I dunk and somebody's near me, I just need to let it be known that either you just got dunked on, or <laughs> if you try me again, you will get dunked on. Nice. And then my next question. Uh, your your three point shooting seems to be gradually improving. Is that something that you feel is a work in progress, and that you're only scratching the surface on? Yeah, of course. Y'all right. gonna see how well I shoot it this year, but you know, it's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a special year for us. Next question is coming from Nick Krupke with KPTV. Hey, Derek. As a high flyer, man, some of that, just that raw energy you have is when the building's packed. And obviously you saw it in the bubble, didn't have that early on this season. There won't be fans. How does that, uh, do you miss that as a player, just when you're going down and throw one hard and there's there's nobody there but your teammates? No, see, that's, that's what, man, I don't never notice. I hear the crowd, you know, but I don't never notice it. What I notice when I dunk is my teammates, you know, how, how the bench reacts and, that's 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 what keeps me going, you know. Just just having my guys over there enjoying my success, or when I'm over there, I'm enjoying someone else's success. And that's 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 the that's the part that gets me going. All right, going back to Jason Quick with the Athletic. First, uh, why the one year and one year option? Uh, just something that. Me and my agent had talked about it. We just decided it was the best best fit contract for me so far. Okay, and then tell me something that that gives you joy. What what makes you happy? What makes you smile? Waking up in the morning, seeing my face, <laughs> face and being healthy every day, just being alive. It, it's nothing to frown about. Right? Next question is coming from AJ McCord with Coin6 News. Hey, so um, you tested positive for COVID back in June, correct? Mm -hmm. What was your experience like with with that? And um, yeah, what was your experience like? I mean, I, for me and certain other people, I can't really say an experience. I didn't have no symptoms, anything. I, you know, I was quarantined for 14 days in my in my house in my room, away from my kids, away from my girlfriend. You know, I was just you know, there. I mean, I didn't have any symptoms or anything, so I just made sure that everybody stayed far away from me, so that they didn't do anything either. And you just mentioned your your kids, your girlfriend, your family was the ones that you sort of um, talked about coming to Portland with. What what is your support system like? Who who are the people in your in your corner? Right now, uh, well, that's my my dad, my mom, of course. You know, my girlfriend, my agent, my older brother, and my sisters, and I have a close friend or two close friends that one went to college with me, and one I grew up with. But other than that, that's that's all that's in my circle. Thank you. All right. Uh, next question is coming from Nick Krupke with KPTV. Derek, how many kids do you have? What's your ages? Three boys, and five about to be six, two, and one. Man, you're in the thick of it then. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, how has life changed for you being a dad? I mean, you, I mean, you know, that's a that's a lot of mouths to feed and a lot of kids to lead. Uh, at a young age, I, know I had my first born when I was 17 years old. You know, it was, I was 17 going on 18, so I was like, as a kid, you know, you you had to grow up, and right away I I knew what I had to do. I went to college and I made you know, I maximized that ability I was at when I was in UNLV to get to the league, and you know I'm here now, so I'm just trying to work hard every day I can and, and try to make that life a lot easier than mine was when I was growing up. Got another question coming from Jason Quick with the Athletic. Most players love offense and love scoring. What is it about defense that you like? 
defense wins games. I mean, I know a lot of people love to score. And that's the part of the game. You want to score. But it, whoever can get the most stops, you know, you stop the other team from scoring. And as long as you score still, you you good. But I just, I don't know, I just love defense. It, it just makes me happy when my teammates get still, get a block, anything, you know. Uh, I'm out there. I dive on the floor for the ball. Whatever I need to do to get it, I'm going to do it. Was there anything that triggered that uh, early in your career, or have you always just kind of liked that? Uh, I mean, where I'm from, Chester, Pennsylvania is a, is a place where, you know, if you play basketball, you, you, you're normally not playing with your age group. So I was about 12, 13, playing with 17, 18-year-olds. So it was either I play defense and, and stay on the court and win or lose and not play defense. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Derek, thank you very much. And again, uh, welcome to Portland. Thank you.